steam engines have got a magic about them where you can see everything working. The gleam on the paintwork and you can smell the oil, fire burning and the fireman shoveling coal and everything it needs to create this monster moving at speed. The whole thing's alive. I've always had an interest in trains and a friend of mine had a model railway under his bed and it sort of went from there. The railway itself is based in Cornwall in the period between the end of the Second World War, 1945, to 1947. Since I've been in this house, it's probably taken me around 35 years to get where we are now. My favourite aspect of building anything is to achieve realism. That's why we've got thousands of books there all on the Great Western Railway. I'm constantly picking bits and pieces up in the street, bits of wire and bits of metal that could well be a load for one of my wagons, <laughs> you know. I've been everywhere to get real coal. When I go to steam railways, I'll always nick a lump of coal and smash it up with our own to put the real coal on the trains. McDonald's always supply a good supply of wooden stirrers for their coffee and they're used to make wagon loads, build buildings, to produce stacks of timber. The main tanks in the foreground, the milk tanks, they're made from salt and pepper pots that came from Morrison's supermarket. I've always been a creative kind of a person, I've always played with stuff, built stuff, made stuff. I've never been an electrician. I'll try all the different ways, and if I'm here, I'll light up or something, then I know that's not meant to be going there. When you look at my wagons, they don't look like anybody else's. I don't know anybody else that's got these, these little army tents and the uh, guy sitting outside having a cigarette and the guy sitting in the toilet. That's mine. I made that. You can't go into the shop and buy that. The smallest piece is the robin sitting on the shovel and it actually took three or four hours to paint it and we're losing five different colour paints. I thought, Why am I, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? No one's going to be able to see this. But when it all dries and you actually stick it there, it has now become a conversation piece. People that have never seen it before, they're quite astounded actually, because generally speaking, people that come and look, they don't see model railways on a daily basis. They're just ordinary everyday people. All the time I can get up the stairs, with or without a stair lift, and I can find something to do on my railway, then I'll do it. When Albins knocks on the door and says, are you ready to go to Honorwork Cemetery? That's when the lights will go off. <laughs>